In this procedural update, we join Dr. Daron Scher, orthopaedic surgeon specialising in knee and shoulder surgery. We'll come back down and look for an effusion now. An effusion or swelling of the knee is never normal. There should be less than five mils of fluid. There are three increasing tests that you can do looking for an effusion. The first is the wipe or swipe test. What you do is you wipe the fluid from the knee into the suprapatellar pouch. That clears this gutter of any fluid at all. You then want to wipe the fluid back into the knee by taking it out of the suprapatellar pouch and watching for a bulge at that part of the knee. This is for a small effusion. If you get a larger effusion, you won't see the fluid flow and therefore the wipe test won't be useful for you. If there's a medium effusion, then what you need to do is be able to cross fluctuate. So you bring the fluid down from the suprapatellar pouch, put your fingers and thumbs on either side of the knee, and then squeeze backwards and forwards, feeling for the fluid flowing underneath your fingers. As a very small effusion won't give you cross fluctuation, and a very large tense effusion won't give you cross fluctuation because the fluid can't travel. So the last thing to look for is what's called a patella tap, and that's when there's a very large effusion. If you milk the, f the, the fluid down from the suprapatellar pouch underneath the patella, the patella is now sitting up off the femur. If you then push down on the patella, the patella sinks through that fluid and hits the femoral condyle, and you actually feel a clunk as the two bones touch together, and that's called a patella tap. There has to be enough fluid to separate the patella from the femur, so in a medium or small effusion, this will not be useful. If any of the tests is found to be positive, there's no point trying to do one of the other tests because they're unlikely to be positive, and then you can grade the effusion into small, medium, or large.